does my hair look crazy or am I giving off Tori Kelly vibes? Well, since I am just too lazy to recurl my hair, let's just go with the latter. Speaking of lazy, hi, I'm Asia Dang and you're watching my 15 beauty hacks for the lazy girl. Sometimes we want to look fabulous without actually doing anything. Don't worry, I'm the exact same way and it's basically every day of my life. So if that's you as well, welcome to this video. All right, let's jump on in here. Tip number one is to use tape to get the perfect smoky eye and winged liner. For not only the lazy girl, but for the makeup novice as well, I love this tip and I've actually used this tip in a couple of my makeup beginner videos. All you have to do is get some tape and put it on diagonally in line with your bottom lash line. And then you just use that as a guide for your eyeshadow and winged liner. The next tip is if you have a business card or whatever, use it in order to keep your mascara off your eyelid. I don't care what anyone says, but putting on mascara is difficult. So save yourself precious retouch time by just not getting mascara on your eyelid in the first place. So by doing this, you just put the business card right behind your lash, and then you can put your mascara on without having to worry about messing up your eyeshadow. The next tip is a way to get supermodel legs without having to really do anything. Sometimes I'm just too lazy to put on self tanner or even just too lazy to go to the gym. However, if I have like a shoot or just wearing shorts cause we are coming into summertime, that's when I like to swipe my Sally Henson airbrush legs. This instantly covers like a wide variety of imperfections like veins, um, freckles, whatever. So what do you have to do? Super simple. Shake it well, spray it into your hands just like a tanner, and then apply it onto your legs, making sure it's evenly blended. And then of course, once you're done, wash your hands. And while this is more like makeup than actual self tanner, you still need to let it set for 60 seconds before dressing. And then once that one minute goes, you're good to go and you don't have to worry about any transfer of color. Plus it makes your legs look firmer, which is why I like to use it during shoots like bikini shoots and stuff. So um, yeah, this is like gold. The next tip, speaking of supermodels, to get supermodel lashes, all you have to do is take a blow dryer to your eyelash curler and heat it up. I don't really know what supermodel lashes look like, but it was just a really nice segue. The heat from the blow dryer onto your eyelash curler makes curling not only easier, but makes the curl last longer. And you know, while I do have uh, lash extensions right now, when I don't, this is the only way that my lashes will hold a curl. Speaking of lashes, the next tip in order to fake fuller lashes, just use eyeliner. Unfortunately, not all of us are blessed with luscious looking lashes. But in order to make your lashes appear thicker, line your inner upper lash line with liner. I like to use brown liner just because it's not too harsh, but use whatever you prefer and it makes an instant difference. The next beauty hack for the lazy girl is to use a beige or white colored pencil in order to make your eyes look more awake. Use a nude or white eyeliner on your lower rim. This automatically makes it look like you got a ton of sleep, even though you might not have, and opens up your eyes and makes the appearance of them looking brighter. All right, sticking with the eye section, the next hack is to make sure that your eyeliner that's on your eye currently does not smudge by using eyeshadow. We've learned this tip from Armand. Oh, we miss Armand from our various makeup videos together. But when you apply an eyeshadow in a similar shade to the eyeliner, you're just setting that liner and it will not budge, will not smudge. The next tip is a tip that I use every single day of my life and it is to use a multi purpose product. I love multi-purpose products because you save money, yes, and then you also save time, double yes. In a couple of my previous makeup tutorials, I've used the same product for lips, cheeks, and eyes, and that monochromatic look is something I really dig, so just putting that out there for you guys. Hack number nine is to wake up to silky soft feet without doing anything. Apply a deep foot moisturizer 
to your feet before you go to bed, put on those nice, snuggly, cozy socks, and then honestly, you wake up the next morning like a brand new person. All right, tip number 10 is dry shampoo, and I cannot do anything without my dry shampoo. I wash my hair maybe twice a week, definitely once a week, most of the time. So in between those sessions, I like to use dry shampoo. Not only does it save you 20 minutes washing your hair, and then 20 minutes blow drying your hair, but it also gives you this fabulous texture and volume to your hair that can't really be beat. Tip number 11, if you have to wash your hair and you wanna wake up to fabulously curled hair, braid your hair before you go to bed. So you can either braid your hair before you go to bed or what I like to do is I actually like to put my hair in a bun before I go to bed and make sure your hair is damp, not super wet, but damp. And then when you wake up the next morning and your hair is dry, you will have amazing curls. Hack number 12 is something that I do basically every day because every day I'm just way too lazy to put on a full face of makeup. And if you're like me, all you need is concealer and brows. Concealer just to cover up your dark circles or pimples, brows because you need to fill those in because they frame your face, and honestly, that's good. The next hack is to save money on blotting sheets by just using toilet covers. This might be a little TMI, but every time I use the restroom, save me some time and look good while leaving the restroom by taking an extra toilet cover and blot, blot, blotting my T-zone. Because my T-zone, as we all know, is a mess and gets oily pretty quickly. So, killing two birds with one stone, using the restroom, and then blotting my oily spots. Hack number 14. Now, this one breaks my heart just to say because if you follow me, you know I'm such a huge proponent of washing your face every single night, but if you just happen to be too tired or too lazy to get out of bed and wash your face, which I totally get that feeling, at least put makeup wipes on your bedside table. Nothing will be as good as washing your face. Please, if you can, please wash your face, but you know, sometimes we just have those days. And it's still better than going to bed with a full face of makeup. So just give me some swipes with a makeup wipe and, and then you can go to bed, I'll allow it. And finally, the final 15, that was 20, 15 beauty hack for the lazy girl is my favorite and it should be every lazy girl's favorite and it is to just get more sleep. There's no way around it. The more sleep you get, the better looking you are. <laughs> You just wake up more radiant, your dark circles are just less, you're brighter, everything is just better. Plus, you wake up in a better mood because you're not cranky because you only got like five hours of sleep. So if you get like eight hours, seven to eight hours of sleep every night, then you don't have to spend as much time putting on concealer, you know what I'm saying? Or blush to brighten your face up or highlighter. Like I said, no way around it, sleep number one. Well, I guess it's number 15, but number one in our hearts. All right, everyone, those are my 15 beauty hacks for the lazy girl. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any more additional hacks for us lazy people, be sure to write them down in the comment section because the more lazy hacks we know, the better we are, don't you think? I'm Misha Dang, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys later, bye.